Today, I'm challenging my brother to a one we want to see who the best chicken dish. You guys will decide who wins in the end. But before that, let's get to the cooking. We'll cut this into chunks so it can process easily. Process it until it's nice and fine. Now I'm going to season them right before I put it in the freezer. Now I'm going to grind it once more. Just so that it doesn't stick to the plate, I'm going to add some parchment paper. I'm going to add another layer of parchment paper so it evens the chicken out. As you can see, it's very flat. I'm going to put it in the freezer, and now my brother's turn. Alright, so now it's my turn, and it's super simple. I'm going to use this fork to pierce through this chicken to make lots of tiny holes. That was super satisfying, but now I need to put this in the boiling place. Okay, so I got a big pan full of water, and now I'm just going to add some vinegar to fully cook the chicken. You don't want to add too much, or else it's going to overpower the flavor. Now I'm just going to give this a good shake. Now I'm just going to put this straight in. While my chicken is cooking, I'm going to make the cucumbers now. First of all, I have to cut the ends on either side. The other one too. Now I'm just going to keep on peeling it like this until it becomes small strings. I do not need this one. Once you've got a decent amount, you can set it aside. Once you reach an internal temperature of 165, take it out. Now I'm just going to put the chicken inside the container. Wait until it gets colder. After letting it cool down, I can use my fingers and rip into small chunks. Yeah, I'm seasoning, so first we go with the Maggie seasoning sauce, just a little bit. The fish sauce, you want plenty. And finally, the Pumpkin soy sauce, you want plenty as well. Add plenty of that white sesame seed. Now just mix it all up. And now it's time for my brother's sauce. Now, we've tried so many nugget sauces before, but by far, this is the simplest and best sauce. First of all, a bit of ketchup. Secondly, we just want a tablespoon of cream cheese. And a bit more if you really want to. And lastly, a bit of mayo. And now you have the best nugget sauce. After one hour, the chicken is fully frozen. But first, let's make the drench. We have some flour. Now add some cornstarch into it. Now some seasonings. Now whisk it all up. Now slowly incorporate some water. I'm gonna keep whisking until it's silky smooth. And now I'm gonna set it aside. Now take the meat and take small pieces of it to form into nugget shapes. Take the chicken nugget, dip in the drench, and straight into the fryer. Repeat the process. Last one in. Once it's nice and golden brown, take it out. First, I'm going to put my beautiful cucumbers right in the middle. Go in with some cream cheese in the middle. I'm going to go in with the chicken. So my pity is very simple. So we have this plate over here. Our sauce is going to go over here. And our beautiful chicken nuggets are going to go just to the side. Now for the final results, this is my take on chicken and this is my take on chicken. Right now, go to the comment section and comment who you think will win this challenge.